Hi everyone, welcome to this video of mine. This video is to give you some more insights on my Berlin Marathon training preparation. It's now Sunday the 18th of September 2022. Exactly in one week I will race with many others the Berlin Marathon and I would like to give you uh, some more details on the training that I've done, what my uh, target will be, um, many other insights like uh, what's my mindset, nutrition plan, race gear, and some final thoughts. It's going to be really exciting. And um, yeah, let's get in some more details. I hope you like this video and uh, motivate you as well to either uh, set a nice goal and go for it or just start running and get an idea of uh, more advanced training programs. So to start off, the preparation for Berlin this year for me is, was 12 weeks exactly. Um, so 12 weeks of preparation after a holiday of two weeks where I didn't run a lot. Um, I was quite active, but um, yeah, not the no normal program that I'm used to do. And the normal program for me is approximately 100 kilometers per week of running and some easy biking as well um, so to start um, I made a very nice uh, weekly volu volume chart uh, that you can see and uh, every week you can see the total volume and uh, how much of that is easy running that's the green line and uh, more quality uh, and more quality means uh, marathon pace or faster which is in my case approximately three minutes and 20 seconds per kilometer and that will end up in a marathon time of approximately 221 to 222 somewhere in that range Besides uh, the training, I had to work full time. So it was quite a challenge to uh, get all the training in. And besides running also, of course, uh, strength training and getting enough sleep and uh, rest, which is uh, just as important or even more important than the training itself. So that's why the peak volumes uh, are two times 140k and I didn't go over that uh, because if you want to run that fast like I would like to do uh, usually uh, you get a little higher in your peak volume but that wasn't possible uh, in my case <clears throat> without a proper training camp fully focused on uh, running then I split it up into different uh, training types as you can see here Uh, as you can see, there are a lot of different training types. Uh, I made a distinction between easy runs, long runs, uh, road interval slash uh, tempo runs, and uh, track interval sessions. To finally, some strength and uh, races as well. Uh, unfortunately, no half marathon in preparation, but I did a 10K race, I did a 7 kilometer race, and I did a 5 kilometer race just to. Uh, get used to uh, the feeling of racing and uh, getting uh, a lot of volume in but also I have the feeling of uh, racing uh, once in a while um, which is also good I think so the end goal with all this training was to get a certain uh, training effect of course
and uh, hopefully the fitness level will rise like you can see here the purple line that goes up from uh, the left bottom to the right top and uh, yeah that is a consequence of some uh, build up in training uh, also build up in f fatigueness fatigue level and um, yeah i hope it will work out this way that uh, i'll re reach my uh, top fitness level uh, exactly in uh, seven days time all right some other things to consider like uh, my uh, mindset nutrition plan and race gear uh, mindset is to uh, really enjoy this experience being really grateful to uh, be able to participate in a world-class marathon major and be as efficient uh, as possible of course in the first 30k not losing any energy and yeah just keep the mind relaxed and the breathing in a good rhythm and uh, really focused on uh, the last part of the race where it will be yeah all or nothing uh, because you never know how your body is going to respond after a uh, yeah 100 or 120 minutes of really uh, hard running and uh, yeah at the same time uh, i keep it uh, as relaxed as possible uh, that means uh, there's no big deal if uh, anything goes wrong like i said it's just a great experience and um, to uh, enjoy it all is uh, the most important uh, in order to uh, to perform at my highest level i think and uh, yeah just uh, again enjoy it all and the nutrition plan that's uh, pretty easy i will take in morton gels during the race uh, every 5k i will try to get a morton gel in of approximately five or six k uh it's every 20 minutes approximately and uh in the end i will have to take five or six gels uh, that's the plan at least uh and yeah and uh, together with some water uh that will be the nutrition plan during the race every 20 minutes and more than gel with some water to uh, uh slush the gel away and um maybe after one hour and after one and a half hour i will take the uh, gel of morton with some caffeine in it not at the beginning but in a later stage of the race so um the meal on the morning the breakfast on the morning of the race it will be pretty uh simple uh white bread uh, with some honey uh, jam maybe some uh, cheese uh, but uh, purely focus on carbohydrates so it will be a sugary white bread uh, breakfast mainly and uh, a good cup of coffee uh, and uh, after that i'll also drink drink uh 500 milliliters of morton mixed drink 320 to fill up the battery as much as possible before the start um the evening before it's also a uh, carbo loading so probably rice or pasta i'm not very specific i don't have a stomach that's very sensitive to, to the one or the other so uh, uh i'll take uh what's uh, possible at the restaurant uh, on the Saturday uh, evening before the race. And the race gear, I have it all here. Um, I will race in a tight like this, uh, where enough pockets are for all the gels and uh, a nice uh, tight. And it comes along with this uh, singlet 
I wore this singlet already many times. Also last year when I did my first marathon in Amsterdam, and it all worked fine. So uh, I'll stick to that uh, singlet and tight. Uh, then the shoes, of course. I was so in doubt about which uh, shoe to wear. Last year I used the Alpha Fly One, Nike Alpha Fly One, and uh, this year I would like to wear something else. Of course, all the shoes that I, uh, I'm, all the shoes that I considered, I also trained a lot of times in them. So uh, nothing new on race day, of course. Uh, I was so doubting between the SDX Meta Speed Sky. That's uh, this one, the version two, uh, released this year or the Vaporfly 2, which is the uh, good old famous racer of uh, Nike. And yeah, I really had to consider one or the other, but uh, it was so hard uh, in the end, I couldn't make my mind up because I love them both. Um, and I've decided now to take the Vaporfly 2 the, the heel to toe drop is a little higher in this compared to the Essex shoe, uh, eight millimeter millimeters compared to five millimeters in the Essex. So a little steeper heel to toe drop. Uh, and that's what I think I like more, get a little more, more push off every time I uh, lift my feet uh, from the ground. So that's about the race gear. And the final thoughts, um, yeah, it's been a gigantic uh, training block, averaging over 100 kilometers a week for the last 11 weeks. So um, training for a marathon requires a lot of discipline and um, passion for the sport in order to uh, prepare all for that one day where all the pieces need to come together. Um, so yeah, um, I'm really happy that uh, it was possible to get through this training phase of 11 weeks injury free. Sometimes it was hard, of course. Um, what I mean by that is not only training is hard, but also getting the right planning and getting your priorities right. Uh, also feeling sometimes really lonely during training or after training or whenever, but uh, it was all to uh, end up with uh, great shape uh, for the marathon. Uh, and after uh, next week, uh, it will be really interesting to uh, see uh, how it all went, how the adventure was exactly, and uh, if I am considering another marathon. Uh, so no idea um, about that. Just all focus on race day now. And uh, yeah, I made a <clears throat> final uh, video clip of one minute just to show you some footage of the uh, 11 prior weeks. I hope you uh, enjoy it. And uh, it gives also a little more uh, images to uh, how the races that I did look like or the groups where I ran in. Uh, I hope you like it and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.